What is going on Amazon sellers or hopefully soon to be Amazon sellers? My name is Bo Crable and in this video, I'm gonna to explain to you exactly everything you need to know about getting suspended on Amazon and what causes Amazon sellers to get suspended and ways to prevent to do so, okay? Now, the agenda for this video is going to be the following. One, we're gonna talk about some myths that I want to debunk about getting suspended on Amazon. Talk about number two, what causes suspension. Talk about number three, the business models that typically lead to getting suspended on Amazon. And four, how to prevent yourself from getting suspended on Amazon. And before I get into this video, let's first explain to you about who I am. My name is Bo Crable, and I've been selling products online for nearly a decade now. Yep, that's right, I started my business at the ripe age of 10 years old. Now, how is it possible that a 10 year old can have success by selling products online? And the reason is that is I sell products people are already shopping for, and I buy those products from the same exact suppliers used by Costco, Walmart, Target, and alike, and I display the products on Amazon, and I keep the markup, which is typically between 10 and 100%. So if a 10 year old can do this, do you think you have what it takes to make money as an Amazon seller? Of course you do. Now over the past year, I've actually been coaching people just like yourself, my proven methods of making money as an Amazon seller. My students come from all walks of life and ages. However, most do the business part time. However, some have found it actually lucrative enough to make this their primary source of income. And I actually just had a student the other day um, quit his job, that was really cool. And let's face it, in today's economy, everyone can use a little extra cash flow. Am I right? And in, again, in this video, we're gonna be talking about everything you need to know about suspensions on Amazon. So right now I'm gonna talk about some myths that I want to debunk about people getting suspended on Amazon. Because there's a lot of people who have their own agenda doing all this stuff and a little biased and or just don't know what they're talking about and explain to you what causes it, okay? So what I wanna talk about right now is the myths. So number one in this thing, I don't know why, but this has recently brought up quite a bit, is ungating services getting suspended. And the reason why this is brought up because there's there's like two people who like have an Amazon course and I actually I was in their Facebook group and let you know I've been kicked out of every single arbitrage Facebook group. However, um, I they were basically promoting their course and they're saying, because they've had students who got suspended and stuff like that, actually they show their number one like student who's actually been suspended and they say it's because of ungating services. And if you're not sure what ungating service is, it's like companies that will help you get approved in restricted categories on Amazon, okay? Because in Amazon, there's restricted categories and brands, which if you do the right thing, I mean, most of the times you can just apply and get approved. Um, some are really harder to get ungated, like topicals and beauty and grocery. And that's when it's sometimes kind of good to use ungating service. And I 100% promote ungating services. And the number one ungating service I promote is the Funnel Guru. I actually have links in my description for the Funnel Guru, but he's amazing, Steve over there. I've had a bunch of students, I'll actually show some screenshots right here of students getting ungated by using the Funnel Guru, and none of my students have been suspended, okay? Ungating service is absolutely nothing linked to getting suspended. There's no link at all, okay? It's literally just people like, and you understand why they're gonna come to a full circle, why those arbitrage sellers were saying that, but I want to debunk that right now. That's 100% false. I use ungating services, I've had a bunch of students who've done so. I know Steve with the Funnel Guru very well and he has not gotten people suspended because of his services. That, that doesn't make any sense, okay? And then the number two thing, the myth I wanna debunk is customer service. So when you're selling FBA, so when you're selling products to an Amazon warehouse, Amazon handles all the customer service. However, if you ship products out yourself, then you have to go provide customer service. So, and a lot of people think that if they do FBM, and they provide customer service, they're more vulnerable to get suspended. And I'm gonna let you know right now that's just 100% false. At the worst case, if you are responding to customers late, you're providing bad customer service, if you're doing fulfillment by merchant, they're just gonna restrict your fulfillment by merchant privileges and that's it, okay? They're not, they're gonna say, hey, you're providing crappy customer service, send your products to our warehouse and we'll provide better customer service. They're not gonna just suspend your whole entire account. That's not how it works, okay? And number three, what I wanna talk about is kind of similar to number two customer service is using fulfillment by merchant. So a lot of people think using fulfillment by merchant makes them more, more vulnerable to get suspended. I'll let you know right now, the number one Amazon seller, Pharma Packs, who does over $100 million a year in his business, majority of his sales are fulfilled by merchant. Okay, I do some fulfillment by merchant, and actually my fulfillment by merchant sales are growing, but like I'm outsourcing it to another person. Most of my sales are FBA, but doing fulfillment by merchant, shipping 
to customers directly from your warehouse is not gonna get you suspended, okay? And I wanna let you know right now, if you get suspended on Amazon, you are doing something wrong, okay? <laughs> There's no person, oh, I got suspended for no reason. No, you got suspended. If you do the right thing on Amazon, you play by the rules, and you don't try to go with the easy way out and do the right thing, you're not gonna get suspended, okay? So, and that's gonna lead into right now what causes suspensions. So I'm talking about three things that cause a suspension. One is selling counterfeit products. Two is payment slash account issues. And then three is selling products without the rights to do so. Okay, so number one, counterfeit products, right? So this is pretty obvious, right? If you go try to sell some Dr. Dre beats that you found from China, Amazon's gonna catch on to that, okay? However, what I, you probably understand that. However, what I wanna talk about right now is whenever you send products to FBA, or even if you're doing fulfillment by merchant, or if you're selling any products online on Amazon at all, and if you have a higher return rate than everyone else, or you have a higher customer complaint rate than everyone else, and it's just like a very small amount, it triggers Amazon's metrics and they will shut down your inventory, okay? And now there's no way for this like to accidentally happen. Like you have to be doing something wrong if this happens. But if you get a higher amount of returns, if you get a higher amount of customers explaining to you and asking questions about these, this product, they're going to take down your listing. Okay. Because Amazon has a bunch of algorithms that are genius and to basically make sure no one's selling counterfeit products or selling things that just is not good for that consumer. So if you try to go sell counterfeit products, you're not going to get away unless the entire listing is all counterfeit sellers because if you have a higher percentage of returns, higher percentage of people messaging you about this product, you're gonna get that listing shut down. And if you do that multiple times, Amazon will suspend you, okay? So that's one reason. Number two, which is kind that happens quite a bit, and with this, sometimes people are, they're not intentionally doing this, but this is something you need to be aware about, is setting up your account and payment processing you do with your account. So. For example, if you put in a fake credit card or an expired credit card, which you may not have even meant to do so, they'll suspend you right away. Or if you put in a wrong address, and or if you put in, spell your name wrong, or put in a wrong email, or put in the wrong credit card, or any account information that's just not accurate, right, they're gonna suspend you. And that's usually, I mean, you can go appeal that and that's totally fine. I'll actually, inside my course, I have links to setting up another account. But with this, it kind of can be annoying, but just make sure when you're sending for account that you're not putting in fake credit cards, that you're not putting in expired credit cards, that you're putting in the correct address, that you're putting in your correct name, business name, etc. Okay? Now, the third thing I want to talk about is actually where most people get suspended. And this is the number one cause, is selling products without the rights to do so. So, if you heard me in the first example about the myths debunking about ungating services, I was talking about the people who have arbitrage courses. So, when you do retail arbitrage, online arbitrage, that's the process of buying products from retail stores. So like Walmart, Target, Goodwill, stuff like that, dollar store, and you try to go buy them and sell them on Amazon. The problem with that is you don't have the rights to do so. When you sign up on Amazon, you're literally stating every single product that you sell as new, you have the full rights to sell those products. If you go buy a product from Walmart, you don't have the rights on Amazon to go sell that product as new, okay? So what happens a lot of times, if you go send in a product, and if there's a certain brand on it, and let's say for example it's Sony, what can happen is Sony can message Amazon saying, we don't recognize this seller. Take their listing off right now, suspend their listing, not suspend their account, but suspend their listing. We want an invoice from them. If they don't show an invoice from an authorized supplier, take them down. That happens every single day. I've been kicked out of every single arbitrage group, except one, I left the other one just because it was cancerous. But I have been kicked out of every single arbitrage group because every single day, if you don't believe me, go join an arbitrage group on Facebook and you'll see this every single day. Whenever I would see someone get suspended, I'd say um, it's most likely, because I, for example, uh, I was in a Facebook group with a back-to-back -back post where people were getting suspended. And one person said, oh, I've done almost a million dollars on my Amazon account. And then today I was uh, bought some products from Walmart and sold them on Amazon and I got suspended. I don't know why I sent them in the receipts um, that I responded on the post saying, that's the exact reason why you got suspended. You can't go buy stuff from Walmart and sell it on Amazon and put in a receipt from Walmart and hope that it works, okay? You need to be buying from legit distributors. Okay, so to recap that, if you don't have the rights to go sell the products, so if you're not buying from suppliers, 
that allow you to go sell online, you're screwed, okay? And any brand can go message you, and I know exactly how to do this. I work with some brands and I show them how to do this. They can go put in a complaint in Amazon. Amazon will suspend the listing right then and there and tell you apply an invoice. And if you apply a receipt from like Nike.com or the Nike outlet or Walmart or Target or Goodwill or the dollar store, there's a very high chance they're going to suspend you, okay? So now this is gonna to lead to the business models that lead to get, getting suspended typically. So one business model, which I kind of just discussed, is about arbitrage. So now technically in Amazon's terms and services, you have to have the rights to sell any product as new. I understand that there's a Supreme Court ruling saying, oh, if you buy any product, you have the rights to go sell. Yes, but Amazon's a business. They can make up their own rules, okay? And they state you have to have the rights to sell those products, okay? And typically arbitrage is against that terms and service because if you go buy products, from the clearance outlet and say if it doesn't have a warranty on it or even if you're buying it, like, because usually what happens when I go buy products from legit distributors and I go buy from a Sony distributor, I have a one year warranty on it. When you go buy from Walmart and say if it has a one year warranty on it, every single day you're not selling it, it's losing that warranty. So you can't be selling those products as new. You can kind of get away with selling them as used, um, but arbitrage typically leads to getting suspended. If you don't believe me, join a arbitrage Facebook group and just watch the posts of people getting suspended. And then join my Facebook group of people who are selling products, brand name products, so pretty much the same product, but buying them from legit distributors, no one's getting suspended. Okay, now the second business model I wanna talk about, which technically is not, 100% is not against Amazon's term and service, is drop shipping. So a lot of people think drop shipping is against Amazon's rules, it's not. But they state in there, because if you go search up like dropshipping rules with Amazon, they have an article saying dropshipping is not against it, but you have to have the rights to go sell those products. So same exact thing. I have suppliers who dropship, okay? I usually don't really use dropshipping and I don't really do it, but I have suppliers who are legit authorized suppliers who dropship, and I can 100% go do that. However, if you go dropship from walmart.com, and try to go sell it on Amazon, that's when you can get suspended. And that's when it's against Amazon's term of service. So now that leads to the last point of how to prevent yourself from getting suspended on Amazon. So getting suspended on Amazon is something you should never worry about because if you're doing the right thing, if you're making an actual business, you're buying from legit sources, you're not gonna get suspended, okay? However, you should worry about it if you're doing things wrong. If you think you're cheating the system, if you ever think you're cheating the system or think, oh, I can get away with it, Amazon's gonna catch you, okay? So the number one way to simply prevent getting suspended is buy from authorized sources, okay? So buy from authorized distributors who have the rights to sell to you and have the rights to let you sell online. And that's it, okay? Just don't do arbitrage, don't do drop shipping from unauthorized sources, don't sell counterfeit products, don't try to cheat the rules and just simply do the right thing and that's how you prevent yourself from getting suspended. So to recap this video, we talked about some myths evolved about getting suspended, such as on gating services, fulfilled by merchant customer service. Talked about number two, which is simply what causes getting suspended. So copyright infringement, counterfeit products, payment accounts. Number three, we talked about the business models involved with getting suspended, arbitrage and uh, drop shipping. The number four, I told you, buy from authorized suppliers and you're good to go. So thank you so much for watching this video. Now, if you wanna keep up with my videos, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel and make sure to turn on the little bell so you get notified for my videos. Make sure to follow me on any other social media, at Bo Crable, so Instagram and Twitter. And if you're wondering how to go get more extra information about selling brand name products, I'll actually be hosting a free webinar, which will be in the links in the description. Feel free to go attend the webinar and I'll see you on there, but make sure to have a great day. Subscribe to this channel, give it a thumbs up, comment down below and have a great day.